I want to talk to you about magnesium because most people in the U.S. are deficient in magnesium. A big reason is because our soil is depleted and our diet is not that great. So I remember many years ago when this product, Natural Calm, first came on the market and all the holistic health practitioners, myself included, were so excited because it would relieve women's PMS symptoms. It will still do that. But magnesium, if you do not have enough, it affects your nervous system, it affects your digestion. There's so many systems in your body that are affected. And I had a, a child one time as a client who had ADD and ADHD diagnosis, and she just was very uncontrollable in school. And it turned out that over time, building her magnesium level alone took all of that away. And she was able to cope in the classroom. She was able to focus again. Everything was corrected by magnesium. Now, if you go to the health food store to look for magnesium, there are many different types and forms of magnesium. And so I wanna to help to educate you what each one does so you know what's good for you. This particular one, Natural Calm, is magnesium citrate. And this one is very easy to absorb. However, it can loosen the bowels. So not everyone can take it gracefully. They, they get loose stools and that's unpleasant. But here are some other forms of magnesium. So magnesium oxide can be used to um, help digestive complaints. If your magnesium levels are low though, it's not well absorbed. So even though it can help you with your digestion, you don't end up raising your blood levels of magnesium. So if your magnesium is low, you would add an additional type of magnesium. So magnesium chloride does absorb easily. It's uh, used to treat heartburn. It can help constipation and low magnesium levels. You can actually use it topically. So you can get it in an oil or a cream. And if you have muscle soreness and maybe your gut is sensitive to magnesium and you can't take it, you can apply it topically to your body and raise your magnesium levels. Now, um, magnesium lactate is also effective and it is way gentler on your digestive system. You, you shouldn't develop um, loose stools. So lactate, magnesium lactate is good for people who need to take larger doses but have trouble with the other forms of magnesium. Magnesium malate is one I love. It is very easy to absorb. It does not have a laxative effect. It can actually give you a bit more energy and it tends to work really well for people who've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome, magnesium malate. Magnesium taurate, see why it's so confusing when you go to a health food store? There's so many kinds of magnesium. Magnesium taurate might be best for managing high blood pressure uh, pressure and high blood sugar. Magnesium L3 and 8 supports your brain health and potentially can aid the treatment of um, uh, depression, which is great, and even memory loss. Magnesium sulfate, which is also Epsom salts, you can dissolve in water and use it that way to relieve stress. You'll absorb it through your skin and it helps relieve stress, muscle tension, muscle soreness. Magnesium glycinate is used for its calming effects and it can help to treat anxiety, depression, and insomnia. And then finally, magnesium orotate helps your heart health by improving energy production in your heart and, um, and blood vessel tissues. In fact, magnesium is one of the awesome foursome that one of my favorite physicians, Stephen Sinatra, um, developed to help people with cardiovascular disease. So magnesium is fabulous. You can also find magnesium with multiple forms in the same supplement. So you might want to do that if you're unsure which of these would be good for you. But in general, most people are gonna feel better by adding some magnesium.